Hi there, my name is Dr Jenna Machocki and I am an immunologist, which is somebody who studies everything about your immune system. So what is your immune system? Your immune system is made up of lots of different components. So it includes things like your skin, your digestive tract, the delicate lining of your airways. It also includes a whole host of different kinds of white blood cells and organs like the bone marrow, the thymus and your lymph nodes. And collectively, these all work together to protect you and keep you well. So what does your immune system do for you? It does a lot of things. So most conversations around the immune system tend to think about protecting us from infection, which is one of its primary jobs. It's there to make sure that uh, viruses and bacteria don't infect us and make us sick. And if they do, it springs into action and gets rid of the infection. But it's also doing a lot of other things when we don't even realise that it's working. So it's involved in, in repair and healing, in growth, it has a role in pregnancy, uh, and it's also our main cancer surveillance system. So why is your immune system important? Without a robust and properly functioning immune system, you wouldn't be able to go around your daily life feeling well. So it's the thing that is protecting you all the time from germs in your environment uh, and other toxins and things that could make you sick. So it's easy to take your immune system for granted because it's working hard all the time to protect you when you don't even know it. Um, but taking care of your immune system is something that we should all be aware of and all be doing for life, not just for when we pick up the odd seasonal cold and flu. So what percentage of your immune system is in the gut and how is this interlinked? Did you know that your gut is home to trillions of microbes and it's also home to around 70% of your immune system? So those immune cells in your gut are up close and personal with the microbes that live in your gut and they're continually talking to each other. In fact, your microbiome, the collection of microbes in your gut, is actually the key educator of your immune system, making sure those immune cells are trained properly to do their job. So our gut microbiome trains our immune cells from birth and a more diverse microbiome essentially means better training of those immune cells. So when you're taking care of your gut, you're also taking care of your immune system. So what are the things that can impact your immune system? It's important to know that your immune system can be affected by things that you cannot control, like how you were born, things that you might have had happen to you early in life, medications you might have had to take, and it's also impacted by things that we can control, like the food that we eat and the different lifestyle behaviours that we engage with. So in terms of things that you have control over, I think eating a well-balanced, healthy diet that's full of plant diversity is one of the best things that we can do for both our gut microbes and uh, caring for our immune system. So aim to eat the rainbow, work on that plant diversity, challenge yourself to eat different foods throughout the week, put some different vegetables into your uh, shopping basket uh, and try to incorporate as many different plant foods as you can. The other things that we can do that will uh, help support our immune system is being active as much as possible. Not necessarily going to the gym or doing exercise, but just breaking up periods of sitting, getting out for a walk, making sure that we um, engage in some sort of resistance exercise where we're putting uh, resistance on our muscles, Pilates, yoga, that kind of thing. Um, and also managing our stress because we know that stress over prolonged times can really, really impact our immune system and uh, can leave us open to uh, infections and being unwell. So it's important to remember that it's not just about diet, although getting all that plant diversity in is really important, but it's also about being consistent in the other areas of our life. So as I said, moving your body regularly, managing your stress, things like sleep is really foundational for your immune system, uh, and having that 360 approach to your lifestyle where you're trying to implement small practices every day that will support your well-being. So my three key takeaways would be, Eat the rainbow, make sure that you're eating fresh produce across all the plant groups, beans and pulses, fruits and vegetables, herbs and spices and nuts and seeds. Also don't neglect the other areas of your health like sleep, stress, movement. And finally, my last one would be just to be consistent. It's not about being perfect, but it's doing those little things every day that will add up to have the biggest effect on your well-being.